here we go. Let's talk about the Indianapolis Colts, Jeff Saturday, and what the Indianapolis Colts were expecting out of him, what Jim Irsay was expecting. So, your team prior to Jeff Saturday was falling apart. We have a running game that was the best offensive line, making holes, running up the gut, and just getting yards as they wanted. So you have offensive line that is falling apart, can't get the ball two yards down the down the yard in you know, a football field, and they just they don't look the same. And it's it, and it's kind of like I, when I say falling apart, I mean legitimately falling apart. They don't know their heads from their assholes is what it looked like. You had a passing game that did not exist versus man, I hate to say this. Last year with Carson Wentz, uh, that didn't look too bad. It didn't look that bad. It really didn't. Sloppy quarterback play that was getting away with a lot of bullshit because our offensive line was allowing him to, to just sit back there way too long. And he was processing stuff, just just processing and doing stupid shit. It's like he couldn't think about all the stuff he could do and which one to pick from because he had so much time back there. To this to this year, which, you know, we get Matt Ryan, everybody's excited about, and he can't he doesn't have time at the you know the first half of the season didn't have time to throw the ball he was getting sacked he was throwing interceptions he was fumbling the ball this is what Jeff Saturday walked into no passing game no running game offensive line looks like crap it looks like shit all together your uh defense is the only thing you had going for you and it was it was pretty good. It, it was pretty good. Did did it need an improvement? Not to win games. Did it improve? Uh, once he came in, absolutely. So, but let's get back to where, where I was. So he he walks in to you know he's hired in, and he's got to start picking and choosing on what he has to do to improve his team now. Stepping in, he sees what's going on. You have an offensive line, the highest paid offensive line in the NFL. The highest paid, I gotta really point that out, in the NFL. And it's not doing anything. I mean, it might as well be the, you know, the Browns offensive line because they're looking worse than what the Browns have in a minute. You have a quarterback that wants to turn the ball over two to three, four times a game. He's throwing at least two picks and two fumbles a game, I think. I want to say he was averaging between three and four turnovers a game. Just him. And we could, we had a running game with, well, let me rephrase, let me rephrase that. We had a lack of a running game because the offensive line wasn't doing anything. This is what he steps into. Now, have you, we, we were supposed to have the players to put together to make this great offensive line and running game. We had the number one running back in the NFL, and I honestly believe he still is. But we'll get to why he's not, the numbers aren't there to show it, even though he's had a decent year in all reality. He's, He's close to that. I think he's close to 900 yards on 11 games. I mean, it's it's not had a bad year, but I'm going to get to why he looks so bad. And then you have receivers that aren't getting open, but still, that comes back to the offensive line. So we get Jeff Saturday walking into the press conference. Was it 
three days before their, their next game. Very little to, little to look at prior to the game as far as his players and how they look practicing. We play the first game, we lose. But we did look better from on, on that game than we did previous games. I wouldn't say we looked the best, but we looked better. A little more organized. Um, game two, we win it. It's in Oakland. Um, offensive line looked better. It looked like it had a lot to improve, but it's still, it still, it looks better. Uh, quarterback play looked better. He, I think he had one pick that game. But overall, it looked better. Um, and then uh, we had our next game, and we lost it. But the offensive line looks even better. Quarterback play, no picks, no fumbles. We finally get to the Cowboys game. Cowboys game, we played three solid good quarters. Offensive, offensive line did their job. Um, still, quarterback play looks sketchy. And I thought it looked sketchy the first three quarters. He just looks like he's dancing around, kind of cuddled, just waiting to get hit. Finally, you know, just looking for anybody open to throw the ball. He looks rattled. But we do decent in three quarters. Fourth quarter, I think it just finally got to him. You know that. But that first, the first quarter, the first two series we had, he did not look good. First two series we had, he looked rough. Threw some passes he shouldn't have thrown. So he kind of settles in a little bit. You could tell. Um, you know, we started getting some completed slants and short passes. Nothing really deep. I think we get one deep ball that game. Um, but we never go back to it. But a lot of little dinks and dunks and runs and, you know, what have you. Which we were gashing them pretty good with the run plays that first half. It looked pretty decent. And then the fourth quarter, we break down. Fourth quarter... Start throwing picks. There was a fumble. It just, once we start snowballing problems that are, you know, just popping up, once they start snowballing for the Colts for some odd reason, they send just to build, 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 build. But that's the whole purpose of snowballing. So it's kind of like drowning yourself. You know, you're, you're looking around, you can't find nobody to help you out. Nothing's going right. It just feels like you're getting buried alive. So, anyhow, we get the we get Saturday's game, and I think we have one to prove something, and we wanted to go out there and you know punch him in the face. We did defensively, special teams Lee. special teams and defense scored what was it fourteen or twenty one points. I I'm gonna have to look back at that game. I felt like our offense was lacking badly. We had one deep pass. I think it might have been for 60 yards. We had a couple, we had a bunch of dinks and dunks, and we had some good run plays. Um, but it just did not look crisp at all. Uh, we, it was receivers just barely getting open. We've had a couple, of, like, not necessarily screen plays, I don't think, but they kind of broke open, and they got some yards out of it. But overall, Matt Ryan looked like trash. And our offensive line, it was doing its job. You get into the second half of that game, Matt Ryan couldn't complete a pass. Couldn't. All they did, if you if you were paying attention, is slid their their deep, deep, uh, defensive backs up five yards, 
from the line of scrimmage. And that's all Matt Ryan wanted to throw. I don't know if it's the plays they were giving him or what. Just five yard slant, five yard cutback, drag route, five yards, five yards, five yards. And it wasn't working. Well, now we want to go to run play since their passing isn't working. He's not completing them. Excuse me. Ah! Sorry about that. So he wants to go back to the run game. Why? You can't. They are playing five yards on the line of scrimmage because you can't throw anything deeper than five yards. If you can't get anything deeper than five yards, where are they backing up for to give you room to run the ball? So now everybody's bunched up at the line. Try to run the ball three yards. Try to run the ball two yards. You're not going to. You need to open up the field. Now, with that said, what did Ursay expect from Saturday? From Coach Saturday, not Saturday's game. What did he expect from just Saturday? He wanted improvement. He got improvement. He wanted a will to win. I believe he got a will to win. I believe he did. He wanted some efficiency. I believe he got that. He wanted the offensive line to look better. He definitely got that. Hell, he got the defense playing better. But this was with an already set up offense with schemes that he could not come up with himself, they were already preset, he had to work with. Is this the scheme that he wanted? Maybe not. Maybe it's just, maybe he looked at this offensive book and said, what the hell is this shit? No wonder we can't get the yards. We're going to take, that's the reason why, we're going to take 20 plays, we're going to stick them in front of everybody and be like, practice these. Practice them until you memorize them to the point where you, you're doing them off of instinct instead of off of, you know, a play a playbook or whatever you want to call it. Point being is he wants he wanted to practice it so much it was perfected. So that's what they tried to do. Does this is this the reason why we don't have any deep passes? Because those plays don't have deep passes? I don't know. It's a good question. But what did Jeff Saturday have to work with versus what his results are? Yes, they blew a 33 to nothing uh, lead in the first half. Biggest lead in NFL history. Blow them. Okay. Sucks. It's embarrassing, but what do you expect when you can't move the ball? Our defense, our special teams scored those points for us. I don't care who you are. Our offense scored one touchdown with our defense getting the yards up. I, I think they started on the 45, maybe the 50 for that, for that uh, touchdown drive. So... And that's the only one we moved the ball really in. So in the second half, we can't move the ball. Our offense can't move the ball. Our defense is good. Our offensive line's handling things. But quarterback play, we're not getting the ball past five yards down the field. You just, you can't do that and expect to win. Now, is this Jeff Saturday's fault? I don't know. Was he expecting the offense to be that much better? It's a good question. And the only person that can answer this is Jim Ursay. Jim Ursay is the only one who can answer these questions. So for people who are looking to blame Jeff Saturday, please quit. He has flipped this team around. And he had to learn the offense they were running. It's not He didn't know the calls of the offense. He didn't know how the offense lined up. He didn't know the offensive plays. He didn't know the offensive pass plays. He didn't know nothing coming on into this game. 
he had to learn quick and in a hurry. I believe he did the as good a job as he was able to do with what he had. Should he be head coach? I don't know. Like I said, we don't know the circumstances. If he is the head coach next year, who would he be cutting? Who would he be playing? What would he do to put into, what schemes would he put in? What, you know, plays would he put in? What all would he do that he is able to control because he'd be able to control the entire platform and not just play off the platform that's given to him? I need everybody that's doubting Jeff Saturday to think about the situation he was put in and then think about whether or not that game was his fault. He's the head coach, so you're going to say it's his fault which is fine, he was the head coach, or he is the head coach, but nevertheless, he wasn't the head coach from the beginning of the season. And I believe that has a lot to do with the outcome of each game. All we need was our offense to move the ball, get some first downs. Offense can't move the ball. We need a quarterback in there that's not scared to throw it down the field and is not afraid to get hit because... That's what it is. Matt Ryan, if you watch him play, watch him with the ball. If he doesn't step up out of the pocket, he 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 collapses. He just he 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 kind of crunches up and holds the ball like this until he falls. That's what he does. You fucking kidding me? Matt Ryan needs to retire. As much confidence and as much as I was looking forward to Matt Ryan becoming a Colt and just just exploding. It didn't happen. We need a quarterback that's young enough to grow into a good quarterback and develop. Or we need somebody directly out of college. I don't see that happen. I don't see anybody in college who's going to be good enough to step into the Colts organization and become an extremely good football player. That's going to be rough. We need a wide receiver as well. We do not have that deep speed person. We just don't. We don't have that wide receiver. We need him. So, my thoughts on what the Colts need to do to turn this thing around. Overall, we don't have that bad of a team. A little tweak into the offensive line, which is actually improving quite a bit. And we need a quarterback. A good quarterback. We need some plays down the field. We need to open the offense or open up the defense to let our offense actually run the run the ball and have some threats. But if you feel the same way, leave your comments. And please subscribe, like and share. I will, I know I keep on saying it, I will go live one of these days. But uh, yeah, I, everybody chill out, relax. It's not Jeff Saturday. It's the quarterback play. Does he have control of the quarterback? No. All right, catch you on another one. Have a good day.